everybody, it's Lauren here at the Princess Baker, and I am so excited because less than a few weeks away is the new Game of Thrones prequel, House of Dragon. I am a huge Game of Thrones fan. I have dressed as Khaleesi for Halloween. I've made myself my own Game of Thrones birthday cake, and I've made myself at home on the Iron Throne, as any princess should. To celebrate the launch, I've made this awesome hatching dragon egg cake. I'm so excited to watch the series and crack into it. You want to see how it's done? Come bake with me. Rather than carve a cake with long claw, I'm encasing it in chocolate using Easter egg molds. They have pigeon pie for Westeros festivities, but I made chocolate cake for this. I've also whipped up chocolate ganache frosting to layer the cake in the egg. To create the egg shell, I melted chocolate in silicone glass and I used it to coat the inside of the molds. I spooned a generous amount and used a small spatula to paint it up the sides of the mold. This layer is all about making sure the mold is covered more than being even. And when in doubt, add more chocolate and guide it towards the top lip. Then chill it like it's at the wall. Carefully release the chocolate by pulling back around the edges of the mold, and then pop your egg out. Look how smooth the outer surface is. Now because this egg is wobbly, you know, it's not flat, you can control it by placing it back inside the silicone mold. This mold even has a foot on it to keep it steady. I fill the chocolate egg using cut bits of cake. Choose pieces that are the right size for the egg shape, or just cut them as needed. Then add the frosting to layer up the cake inside the chocolate shell. If you're new to my channel, hello Game of Thrones fans! Hit that subscribe button and tell me which episode of the series was your favorite in the comments. Mine, by far, was the Battle of the Bastards episode. I've never seen anything like it, and I may never again. My favorite character is still Daenerys, despite what happened in the end of the series. It's hard for a princess not to like a Khaleesi. Let me know what you think about the last season. I'm pretty sure we're thinking the same thing. So let's glue these halves together by melting more chocolate to use as glue. Use the mold to steady the cake if you need to. I pipe chocolate all around the edge. Don't make it too hot, we're looking to make it sticky, not melted. Then carefully place one half of the eggshell on top of the other. Seal the rest of the edge with more chocolate and then smooth that over. An offset spatula works, but at the end of the day, your finger really is the best tool. Now we're ready to hatch Drogon. To create your own dragon eye, roll out a piece of white fondant and cut a rounded diamond shape. Then cut and roll sausages for the upper and lower lids and glue together with water. Place this on a larger piece of fondant for the skin, which you can texture using a piece of aluminum foil that's been crumbled into a ball. See the texture? Looks kind of like dragon skin. Place on top and you have your dragon eye and skin. Or you can use a mold. Since I have a dragon mold set, I'm using that. It has all the indentations already made. Candidly, I'm not the best sculptor, so for me, Molds are always the way to go.
Look at the detail you get from it. It's incredible. Now time to color it. Using gel food coloring and a few drops of vodka, I'm painting the dragon eye and skin around it. Drogon, Daenerys' main ride, was silver and red. Rhaegal was green and bronze, and Viserion was more of a cream. I wonder what color the dragons in House of the Dragon will be. I added some metallic sheen to my gray for the skin. I think that makes it pop. I think dragons should be shiny. Time to make dragon scales. Using black fondant, pick any brand, roll some out and use a cutter to make teardrop shapes. I'm using a, but even unicorn ear cutters work for this. You're going to need a lot of scales. I glued the dragon eye in position on my chocolate egg before I started adding the scales. Starting with the very top of the egg and using water, I glued a circle, then added my drops in a circular pattern with the pointed side facing up. Keep layering the scales one on top of the other, leaving the pointed side exposed. If I had a dragon, I would name him Falcor, after the luck dragon in the never-ending story. My dog kind of looks like him, come to think of it. Continue adding the scales until the entire egg is covered with them. Isn't she amazing? I mix two shades of silver and a black luster dust together with vodka and painted the egg silver. I love the shimmer and dimension the paint brings out. Be extra careful when painting around the eye. You can use any color you would like for the egg. The reason I chose this silver was to match the Iron Throne. I had a blast making this Game of Thrones inspired cake and can't wait for the new series. Make sure to subscribe for your next baking adventure with the Princess Baker.